Okay, let's test how this works with the batteries. It is uh, supposed to be very easy. Oh, click! And you need to press uh, the power button just once. And then it's lighting up green. And there we have, there we have, there we have it. Next, click. Click. And here we go, all three batteries charging. Only two dots now. Okay, should be just enough for one charge. Is it possible to stop it? Yeah, all three stopped. And release. If you start with the other one, press and yeah, it's the same with the drone. Okay, then I would like to do the temperature measurement on each of the cells and on top of these two. One for the battery one, between the batteries, battery two, between batteries again, and battery three. And all are connected to this uh, measurement device. Here we have the temperature in the room, battery one, between the batteries, battery two, between the batteries, and battery three. Yeah, they're approximately the same. Maybe because I just touched them. But okay, let's uh, start it. One short press. And here we go. We will leave it for uh, 15 minutes at least. Let's see, the clock is 21, so. Yeah, let's get back to check it in 15 minutes. See you in the Okay, now we can see it's been 15 minutes since uh, the last time it was here and you see the graph is uh, rising. No thing that says it's flattened out yet. And we see that the batteries is 28 and between the batteries is 43, 27 on the next battery and the 40. One between again and 29. Okay, here we can see the problem from the Amazon pictures. The holes they claim it's supposed to be burned. I could not reach under the battery with the temperature gorge because it was too thick, so you have to measure that one later when we remove the battery. But here we have the measurement and there we have the measurement. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go and take a look, shall we? How we are doing. Everything is still charging. The time is now 21.40, so five minutes left to the half an hour. The temperature has still been rising, but it seems to be a little less rising. 51 degrees, 48 on the other one. Let's see what this laser pointer say. This one say it's about 59 degrees, close to 60 then. And on this side, a little colder. Yeah. But we will wait until it stops, so we'll see how high it gets. Back again. Clock is, uh, yeah, you see, 10 to 21. We have been here for um, almost 40 minutes. Uh, the batteries 35, 36, and 35 approximately. 50 and around 50. And the hottest place. And okay, it's about 50 degrees. No painful to touch but you can feel it it's it's warm nothing more this is the same it's warm but no more and the charger 
no cold and the batteries can't feel any heat test with this again because this shows higher temperature reading Seven forty nine, fifty one, fifty. Aha! Uh -huh. Something has happened. You see how the temperature curve has read the maximum over there, and now it's now on its way down. Okay, I have now ended the test. The charger is uh, still charging. The temperature is on its way down like this, so on the, the temperature measurement room. Everything is cool, no danger as I can see. 50 degrees in here is no problem at all, even if it's reached 60 it will still be no problem at all. So I would say it would be safe to buy this one. But now it's starting to cool down, there's almost no heat to feel. So. I think the charging process is about to end. Still one red dot, and still all battery charged. Charge, charge, charging, charges. Yeah. Just after I switch off the camera, battery number one is fully charged. So hopefully the next two will start stop charge as well and be fully charged. Still one red dot. Good. And just the measurement, check here. No heat at all. No, no, no. Can't feel anything. Okay, but now it's the same temperature. That's right. Okay. I'll do it back to you. Again, 30 seconds after I switch off the camera with this one, this one stops charging, so this is no full and can be removed. This one was with the least, least charge, so it will take a little longer. Still, one red dot, everything looks cool and good. And there, the last one stops charging. All four, all three are now topped up. Still one red dot. Everything's work, everything is cool. Took about uh, 45 minutes. It's now two minutes past nine. So I say uh, this is a nice thing to have with it, with you when you are on the move. Then we are ready to do the last test, the recharging of the Small tree, and uh, I have put here a uh, meter. This is uh, supposed to be a 3 amp uh, DC supplier, USB supplier. Oh. Let's see if everything's connected. This was, of course, upside down. And if I can make it to focus, and you press. Don't need to press anything. 5.1 volt, 1.49 amps. And it's blinking like it's supposed to. Here are the thermo elements. This is the room temperature. This is on the Smarty charger. Starting now, 9.17. And let's see how it works during the day. Okay, so you see four zones, front and back, and both of the sides where it's supposed to burn hole in the plastic. Time has now been 14.14. Temperature about the same. Charging, yes, it's the same. Okay, 
and to feel it cold ice cold nothing nothing yeah it's a little you can feel a little temperature here we guess around maybe 35 30 degrees okay there you can see the red dot 33 degrees and the plug is actually hotter it's 40 degrees yeah but still nothing to worry about okay time is now 22 19 temperature same no problem charging has been 12 hours and 52 minutes since we started 5 volt 1.2 1.4 amps and now it's only two leds that's working it's working okay still cold hot yes nothing okay we leave it until tomorrow okay next morning 9 13 everything is of course shut down zero amps or four lights did everything is of course cold now here we can see don't know the clock exactly but between 7.38 and 7.52 the charger went out okay to make a quick sum up of the test I would say the the most heat was generated when we were charging the batteries for the smarty uh, not smarty for the DJI Spark, it's uh, generated about 60 degrees on these two points. And when you are recharging the station, it's only generated about 26 degrees. So uh, I don't understand these rumors that you see on uh, some pictures online about the big holes in this charger. As far as my test concerned, I would say this is a very safe unit. It will never exceed 60 degrees on 60 degrees will not melt it so I have tested mine now uh, three times I think not so much but anyway no problem with this and I have checked everything each time I charge it no excessive heat I would say this is an excellent buy I will definitely recommend it if you have a spark it's very useful you get about three times three nine charge battery charges out of one charge of this the disadvantage is definitely it takes very long to recharge it. Like the test say it takes 22 hours I think. Someone says it takes 15. It could be the ammeter and the and the cable I used because it was a cheap Chinese cable. So maybe it's quicker if you use a correct cable and a good charger. Well, for me, I recommend it. I would say it's not dangerous to use. So Thanks for watching again and be happy with your smart tree. Bye.